So this is the last video in the uh, FI module, financial accounting module of uh, SPO HANA. And uh, uh, we shall see uh, a couple of reports. Uh, the first report which we are going to cover in this video is uh, a very core of uh, financial accounting, which is uh, financial statements. So although financial statements typically are uh, four or five different financial statements, but in SAP, we have just one application which covers all of them. So this uh, application is not uh, covered in the financial accounting group of apps by default uh, in your curriculum. So we have to add this app and in order to do this, we have to go to the app finder. So here is the app finder and over here you in the search box, you uh, type finding financial and then you can type financial statement as well, but I just type financial to be on the safe side and then in the financial accounting uh, uh, group uh, SAP financial accounting group you will see display financial statement so uh, this uh, this can be added to your favorites or your uh, uh, wherever you want so it is by default it is in the materials management which should not be the case uh, maybe in your uh, in your own user ID it is not added but if it is added in the materials management so I am now moving it to the financial accounting so let's put it in the financial accounting you can add it to my home as well and then close so it has been added to financial accounting now let's go to the home again so we come to the home and we come to financial accounting and here we see uh, see display financial statements so coming here we see the company code we know the company code is us double zero uh, keep uh, ledger uh, unchanged the financial statement version is basically the format of financial statements so we can have a financial statement of this company code us double zero for example on the format of uh, one country the one format or we can have the same financial statements coming from the same ledger but format it in rather another way so this is sometimes required because uh, companies operate multinationally and they have to report their financials in different uh, regulatory regimes and the presentation formats may be different. Maybe some account has to be classified in uh, current asset in one regime and in some other type of asset in another regime. Similarly, something has to can be classified in a long term or deferred liability in one regime but in the, as a part of the equity in another regime. So that's why normally the financial statement version uh, are actually the different formats which we configure separately and then we link the general ledger accounts to the financial statement version so whenever we take the prints of financial statement we need to mention the format or the template of financial statement version and this uh, statement version uh, let's see what sort of statement versions are available and you see there are many 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 items and for every one of us uh, there are financial statement version GBI triple hash triple hash means your last digits last three digits of your user ID so since my user ID is learned triple zero so my financial statement version which has been specifically created for me is a financial statement GBI triple zero so you better use your financial statement version or at least for this part of the exercise you can use this financial statement version as well because we, we are not going to change any data we are just going to review the financial statement then the statement type let's see what are the options so normal means actual actual comparisons so this year or this month compared to last year or last month this is the moment actual actual that from last month to this month what are changes what are debits what are credits what are the new balances so it's a sort of a moment trial balance and opening actual actual versus a normal actual versus plan if there is a plan version so we can have a comparative financial statement of plan versus actual so we normally keep it ourselves to the actual actual this is something that we find in the annual reports as well uh, so we take the financial statement version statement version uh, up to the period 12 of 2019 and the comparison period is up to period 12 of 2018 and the currency is us dollar and we press go and you see that uh, these are this is the financial statement version which we are looking at so we have assets uh, total in the period balance, cumulative balance, and absolute difference. Uh, so there is a, probably there is no comparison as such. So, okay. 
so this is the comparison balance yeah right so this is the this is the balance for the previous year 2018 if you would note that in our system there is a very little activity exists for 2018 but that is all together done on a certain date and similar kind of transactions especially in the materials management so there is no good amount of data in 2018 but we have a good amount of data in 2019 so uh, this 2019 period balance we have assets worth 4.25238.5 million we have liabilities and equities so minus sign denotes credit so these are the total credits and profit and loss account the balance of the own uh, retained earnings is 130396 and this is again on the debit side because it's with the plus sign so there is an absolute difference it means the debits and credits are not equal because uh, the difference is minus 4.004 million and why this is, there is a difference because uh, uh, let's try to explore it uh, assets when i click assets i have three type of grouping of assets cash and cash equivalent short term assets and long term assets and if i click cash and cash equivalents uh, then now I see actually which GL accounts actually are uh, making this balance, making up this balance. So these three GL accounts have been assigned to this group and these together make up this balance. Similarly, if I want the details of short term assets, these are all the short term assets which taken together makes up this balance. And these are the all the long term assets. There's just three one, three assets which makes up the balance of long term assets. Similarly, we can see the details of liabilities, then current liabilities and then equity. And then we can see the details of profit and loss account. There are revenues, expense, and cost of goods sold. And again, these are the groups and these are the individual accounts. So the thing is why it, uh, there is a difference. Uh, the answer lies that there are some accounts which are not assigned to any of these groups because if the financial statement is prepared from all the GL accounts, then the uh, balance sheet is, is bound to reconcile. But you see here, some unassigned accounts. So there are 317 accounts which have not been assigned to any of these groups. And why these accounts are there? Because students, since this is a practice system, education system, so many students create many new accounts. They do create new accounts, but they do not bother or the exercise or the activity is not involved to assign them to these group. So therefore they remain unassigned. And the total of these unassigned accounts must actually reconcile with this total of unassigned balance over here. So we can see the unassigned accounts detail here. And there are many, many, uh, 317 accounts. And uh, these are for the notes. Let's see profit and loss accounts. So it looks like just as was the all accounts, but it's in a rather different color. So these are probably disabled items. And uh, in the balance sheet, uh, there is no data. So uh, the way that these financial statements have been uh, designed or formatted uh, this report has been prepared uh, has been delivered by SAP is not a very user friendly or good report to be used for a published financial financial statements or annual report purposes not only in this s4 hana but even in the earlier version of sap in sap erp the financial statements were not very very attractive and very well formatted so anyway but uh, this actually gives us a uh, good idea of how the financial statements will look like and if we assign all these accounts then we can have an idea of all the financial statements the assets and we can create as many subgroups as we want we can create many other heads just like in pakistan we have property plant and equipment and then we have intangible assets and then we have deferred cost and long term uh, deposits and these kind of heads can all be categorized and defined in the financial statement version and then the accounts need to be linked to financial statement version. So you, when you see these three accounts, for example, they are linked to this financial statement group. So this linkage has to be done one time. This linkage has to be done for these 317 accounts as well. And once this linkage has been done, then whenever we update the financial statements, whenever we print the financial statement, they will show us the required uh, information. From academic perspective, uh, this is a very, very useful report because I can ask you in, um, for example, some MCQs or uh, in some, some short question that what is the total balance of cash and cash equivalent in the year 2019 and in the corresponding year 2018. So this is the 2018 corresponding year and this is 2019. And this denotes, and uh, if I ask you from which accounts it's make up of, so this is made up of these three accounts, so these are the balances. And you can see that there is a drill down functionality here. So you can display GL line items. So if you want details of this one, so you can straight away go here and see the details of this 1.102 million. 
this is a very good amount uh, this is a very good uh, functionality for auditors because auditors are very much interested in the details of some key items on the report so here are the details right so just like this is the same as this page here account balance and from here not only that uh, the complete channel entries 354 items are available but we can switch on or to a single item as we did earlier and we can see who has actually posted this item we can sort this report on different formats we can uh, uh, configure this report uh, on different format and let's go back so this is the financial statement and again again we already know that we can personalize this these are some of the other columns which can be put into this report and we can change the order or we can make some of them invisible so i hope uh, this is clear and uh, uh, in the next report uh, in the next video we shall see one another very important report on this